if you want to save time, become an expert prompt engineer. But what's prompt engineering? It sounds very complicated. Well, it's actually not that scary. Prompt engineering is the way you give instructions to AI for a better output that's more tailored to you. According to DataCamp, prompt engineering is the practice of designing and refining prompts, questions, or instructions to elicit specific responses from AI models. So why is that important? Well, someone who is really good at prompt engineering can get AI to give them good creative writing, useful programming help, and if you're really good at it, it can do your job for you. Someone who's not so good at prompt engineering will probably just end up wasting their time doing the work themselves, which is why we are making a masterclass on how to turn you into an expert prompt engineer. This is a four part series where we are covering how to prompt for text, images, and video, and basically teach you how to do hours of work in minutes. This is part one, where we'll be going over the basics of prompt engineering. To watch the other parts, check out the links in our description box. Bridget's video is about text to text prompt engineering. Rachel's video is about text to image, and Charisma's video is about text to video. I recommend you watch this video first before diving deeper into the big and complex world that is prompt engineering. Now, when I say I've done a lot of research, it's actually disturbing how much research I've done on prompt engineering since ChatGPT first came out. And I think I have found pretty much the perfect prompts for each of the major AI tools out there at the time of filming this video. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to share with you these prompts so that when you're done watching this video, you'll be able to basically steal my work. How does that sound? Yeah, it sounds good. You're gonna get powerful prompts from some of the most used AI tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dolly, et cetera, et cetera. After this video, you're gonna go from revising your prompt a million times to getting it right on the first go. So we'll do that first. And then at the end of the video, if you want even more, I'm gonna share some AI tools that I recently discovered. And I do have some hidden gems in there that are gonna bring your creativity and productivity to the next level. So make sure that you're sticking around until the end. Okay, who's ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. We ready, let's go. Okay, so what are the best ways to prompt engineer for ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Bing, and Claude? Step number one, set the stage. Tell the AI who you are and who you would like it to be. You can say, I'm a grade five student and you are my teacher. Step number two, state what you would like the outcome to be. Do you wanna learn a new skill or maybe you wanna have an essay that you can walk away with? Step number three, be specific about what kind of format you'd like. Is it gonna be bullet points or maybe a paragraph or maybe it's code that you can copy and paste? Step number four, after you've received your answer, don't be afraid to follow up with questions or any revisions that you need. The hope is that you get it in one or two goes, of course, but sometimes revisions are necessary. Step number five, make sure that you're always fact checking. Go back to Google or a competitor bot to make sure that you're always getting accurate information. Put it all together and what does that spell? Let's see how this prompt would actually turn out. I am a book reviewer and you are a critically acclaimed writer. I would like you to write me an essay with meaningful insights on the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, use 1500 words in paragraph form and make sure that it sounds eloquent in vocabulary and context. Once you get a response back, an example of a follow-up question could be, can you expand on a specific point? If you do it this way, you're gonna get responses that are tailored to your needs and responses that are actually accurate for ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. So speaking of Gemini, Gemini 1.5 Pro is now publicly available and you can do so much more with your prompts now because Gemini can process a ton more information than ever before. According to Google, Gemini 1.5 Pro introduces a breakthrough experimental feature in long context understanding. So for example, in the keynote, they talk about how you can drop an hour long video into Gemini 1.5 Pro and ask a question like, what did it say on that note that that guy took out of his pocket in that one scene that lasted a few short seconds? Like, yes, it gets that granular. Gemini 1.5 Pro can process text, images, audio, and video. So let's say you have a podcast and you wanna ask it a specific question about something they said at the end this is now possible. Gemini now also processes over 30,000 lines of code. Yes, 30,000 lines of code. And I know some of you coders are gonna be so happy about this. Maybe it's not the full volume that you need, but it's still a lot. And also, also, 700,000 words, guys, 700,000 words. So basically it can process the terms and conditions to Spotify. <laughs> but seriously, guys, if you wanna analyze a contract or a report and pull out very specific lines and phrases, this is now possible with your prompts. Here are three prompts that you might find useful using ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, etc. Okay, first one is for my developers. Try this, okay. I want you to act as a software developer. I will provide some specific information about requirements for a web app. And you come up with the architecture and code for developing a secure app with Golang and Angular. Here's my first request. 
and then you would list your requirements. Next prompt is for my content creators. I want you to act as a social media influencer. You will create content on the platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. You will engage with followers. The goal is to increase brand awareness and sell my products. Here is my first request for you. I need help creating a TikTok campaign to promote my new line of dishware. Make sure you also prime it with information about your business. So this next prompt is for generating business ideas. Generate a business startup idea based on a desire. So for example, when I say, I wish there would be an ice cube that melts slowly, you would generate a business plan, including a business idea, a business name, mission statement, target audience, users pain points to solve, main value propositions, sales and marketing channels, revenue stream sources, cost structures, key activities, key resources, key partners, ways to find and manufacture products, idea validation steps, estimated first year of cost of operation, and potential business challenges to look for. Write the results in a markdown table. Are you a writer? I got you. Try this. I want you to act as an author, a novelist. You will come up with creative and captivating stories that can engage young readers aged 18 through to 24 throughout this book. Use a fiction genre. The aim is to write something that has an engaging plot line with complex characters and unexpected twists. Divide it into 25 chapters, make it between 250 and 300 pages long, and a cliffhanger at the end of each chapter. Talk about cliffhanger. Hold on, a quick break to tell you something important. If you're a returning viewer, you know the drill, but otherwise, if you're new here, this channel that you're watching is called Learn with Shopify. We are a Shopify power channel that brings you the knowledge you need to thrive digitally and entrepreneurially. Shopify is the one-stop shop for selling anything to anyone anywhere in the world. So if that does sound interesting to you, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box for a free trial. Who's ever heard of Stable Diffusion? Or how about Dolly? Well, imagine you have a magic paintbrush that can turn your ideas into pictures. That's kind of what Stable Diffusion is. It's AI that creates images based on text prompts that you write. And so essentially it's text to image based. So you would describe what you want in words like a cat riding a skateboard in outer space and Stable Diffusion will paint a picture of that scene. It's like having a super powered artist friend who can create anything that you can think of. It analyzes tons of images and text to understand what things look like and how to put them together. Stable Diffusion is different because it creates stable images, meaning they're not blurry and they're not messy. So it's going to start with a blurry picture and slowly add details based on your description, making the image clearer and clearer. So what can you use this for? Here are some cool ideas. Concept art. Artists can use it to visualize their ideas for characters, games, or movies. Creative inspiration. If you feel stuck creatively, Stable Diffusion can help take what's in your brain and actualize it as a really good starting point. Text generation improvement. Text to image AI tools were notorious for being unstable to generate text on screen. The images would sometimes contain text like letters that are actually more like hieroglyphs. Looks like text, but actually isn't. Before we get into the best prompts for Stable Diffusion, prompting for ChatGPT versus Stable Diffusion is gonna be different, guys. So here are the rules of the road with Stable Diffusion. Prompts are ordered from most important to least important, from top to bottom and left to right. You can ask it for specifics on subject, lighting, photography style, color scheme, and words to describe your desired image. Negative prompts allow you to tell Stable Diffusion what you don't want in your image. Parentheses, also called curve brackets and square brackets, are used to control the importance of words in your prompts. Parentheses increase the importance while square brackets decrease it. This is called prompt weighting, and it allows you to control how much impact certain words have over others within your prompt. Prompt editing is a powerful way to control your generated images by swapping or removing the prompts being used during generation. CFG scale. Stable diffusion uses a concept similar to CFG scale called guidance scale. Lower guidance scales allow for more creative freedom, while higher scales make the model adhere more strictly to the prompt. Batch allows you to generate a few images with a low CFG scale, which stands for classifier free guidance to get a more varied set of images and then run an image you like with a higher CFG scale. And if you want to get really fancy with it, prompt matrix is used to see what impacts your individual prompts have on your generated image. Woo, that was a lot. I know, but in a nutshell, guys, this is what you need to know. 
Prompt editing is a powerful way to control your images in Stable Diffusion. Experiment with swapping and removing words during generation. Stable Diffusion uses a guidance scale that controls how strongly the image conforms to the prompt. Lower values give you more creative freedom. Generating multiple images with different guidance scales is a common workflow to explore variations and refine your results. If you'd like example prompts, check out this site, guys. It's called Prompt Hero and search best prompts for Stable Diffusion to see examples of what can be generated. Leonardo AI is another image generation tool that will help you develop prompts within it as well. Meta AI has also included their text to image generator directly into Facebook and Instagram, and you can generate AI images directly in your chats on Instagram and on Messenger. And even on WhatsApp, guys, you can literally text someone with an AI image that you've made in just seconds. How crazy is that? Oh, wait, and you can also ask Meta AI to animate it and turn it into a GIF and then share it with your friends. I could talk about the new features of Meta AI forever, but that's another video on its own. Do you guys want prompts for text to video tools? If this is your first time hearing about this type of tool, OpenAI has a tool, guys. It's called Sora. And there's also Kaber AI. These are cutting edge AI models that generate realistic videos based on on text descriptions. So Sora does not create the video all at once. What it does is it makes it frame by frame and introduces meaningful content based on the prompt. Unlike other AI video generators, Sora can create videos up to a minute long while still maintaining that high resolution and realistic visuals. It can handle complex scenes, but the more detailed and the more specific the prompt, the better the results are gonna tend to be. So here's how to make the perfect prompt for text to video AI. Be clear about what you want in the video. Describe the characters, setting, actions, emotions, and any visual details that you envision. Adding details like aspect ratio, resolution, or film styles, that can all customize the final look. Be specific about style and tone, like comedic or dramatic, and mention it in the prompt. Here's an example of a prompt given by OpenAI themselves, guys. Context. The video is a fly-through of a vibrant, futuristic city at dusk, highlighting advanced technology and architecture. Visual details. The city should have a neon color palette with towering skyscrapers, flying cars, and bustling streets. Make sure that you have a strong narrative structure. Think of your prompt as a concise story with a beginning, middle, and end. This helps Sora understand the flow of events. For example, this video was created with this prompt. Beautiful, snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the city street following several people enjoying the beautiful, snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous Sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. And this video was also created with this prompt. New York City submerged like Atlantis. Fish, whales, sea turtles, and sharks swim through the streets of New York. Here's some more examples of what Sora can generate, and you can find the exact prompts on the website, openai.com slash Sora. Very good. I know, right? And remember guys, this is as bad as it's ever gonna get. These AI tools are only gonna improve over time and get better at the speed of light. Who knows what the future will bring? Will I be able to write in a prompt and get a video of me exactly like this as it is? Or maybe this is already AI and you just haven't noticed yet. JK, or am I? So guys, to get amazing AI videos like this, use vivid language, paint a picture with words, and once you get your result, refine and iterate, do not be afraid to revise your prompt. Experiment with different phrasings and see how Sora interprets them. Also, hot tip guys, break down complexities. If your video idea involves a long sequence of events, consider splitting it into multiple prompts for Sora to process and then stitch the generated videos together later. Guys, and this is just one text-to-video AI tool. There are so many many more tools out there. There's NVIDIA, Synthesia, Colossian, Pika, Kyber AI, Veed.io, guys, and so much more. So if the world of synthetic videos made by AI video generators is of mucho interest to you guys, I highly recommend you watch Charisma's video next on how to prompt engineer like a pro and impress your buddies at the next party with your newly acquired text to video prompting skills. Don't do that.
Don't do that, guys. <laughs> AI is advancing at the speed of light, or dare I say, the light is having a hard time catching up with all these AI advancements. Crazy fast. If you guys wanna stay competitive in today's fast-paced internet world, you do have to use AI. You just have to, I'm sorry. Or else you're gonna be left behind. And you know what else you have to do? Well, you don't have to do it, but you can sign up to Shopify and join our community of millions of merchants selling their products and services all over the world, maybe as a sweet side hustle that you could potentially even turn into your main hustle. Imagine how great life would be doing what you you love doing and just working for yourself and making a killing doing it. Just a thought. Not sure if you guys care to know about Excel sheets and presentations, but if you do, and if you're in that world, we have some really helpful Excel and AI presentation tool videos, and the links, as always, are gonna be in the description box to those videos. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, and don't forget to check out our library of videos. We literally have hundreds of videos on this channel. We post weekly long format videos. Oh, and guys, we also post shorts almost every single day. So if you guys are into watching shorts, Spam the comments, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Peace.